Hey guys, it's Trevor the Great here with another battle report. This week it is Warhammer Fantasy Battles. Uh, just to note, I did go down to my uh, local game store because they were trying to run a tournament and there was nobody there to play fantasy. So, not too sure what's going on with that. Uh, that's strike two for my friendly local game store. Uh, they tried to run two tournaments and both times I went, nobody was there. So, uh, Obviously, I don't have any cool reports from that, but um, I'll see what I can get you guys in the future. Um, here we go. This is a, a Warhammer Fantasy game. Like I said, it's 2,000 points, uh, Beastmen versus Dark Elves. Uh, here's my list. I'm running a little bit of a different list. I'm trying a lot more Minotaurs this game than I have uh, previously uh, in, in a, a couple smaller units. I have two units of Minotaurs rather than just one, um, just one big unit. So, uh, anyway, what I have in my list is, uh, like I said, two units of Minotaurs. I have, uh, they're, they're each four uh, Minotaurs uh, strong, and they each have additional hand weapons, no other upgrades. And then I have a big unit of 40 Gores. They have full command, very cool. And then a big unit of, I believe, 24 Bestigore. They have full command and the Banner of Discipline. Now, in the Bestigore goes a War Gore. He's going to be my army general, because my lord choice for the game is a Doom Bull. Um, I decided to try to get you know as many frenzied attacks from those Minotaurs as possible, so I'm running two Minotaur characters, uh, the Doom Bull and the uh, Gore Bull with the Battle Standard Bear. He's also got the uh, Hellfire Banner because, um, well, first of all, I knew I was playing Dark Elves, so Hydras were, were a pretty uh, a pretty good bet. So I decided to take that to deal with any regeneration. And like uh, you guys saw, if you watch my my recent game versus Skaven, I had a lot of uh, trouble with regenerating things and things like that. So I figured that why not get some extra. Uh, flaming attacks into my army. Um, and then, just uh, to top everything off, I have a little level 2 wizard. Uh, I believe she's got a feedback scroll, but I didn't remember to use it all game. Um, I, I always forget, so uh, that really didn't come into play. So here we go, here's the deployment uh, area. A uh, little sparse on terrain this game. Like you, uh, As you can see, we have a little plateau over in the corner and some uh, forests and a uh, uh, little watchtower, but that's about that's all that's on the table. Um, my opponent brought a pretty infantry-heavy Dark Elf list, uh, by, um, from what I can see, anyway. Uh, he's got a big unit of Corsairs. They have a Battle Standard Bear and some other... And uh, I, I think they have the, uh, a Master in the unit as well, and he's got the uh, whatever the, the Halberd is that gives him Strength 6. Then he's got a big unit of Spearmen with a, uh, a Level 4 Sorceress in it, uh, who's going to stab them with a little Sacrificial Dagger, because that's pretty much a staple in almost every Dark Elf list these days. Um, and then the, he's got a uh, unit of Cold Ones, and I'm pretty sure all they had was Full Command, uh, 10 Cold Ones there, and then he had a, um, a War Hydra, so just like I predicted, and, um, and a big unit of Repeater Crossbowmen sort of off of the picture, uh, off of the, the top left there. Um, he, uh, you know, we both deployed in a, a, a sort of line going on there. Uh, I deployed my, my BSB and his unit across from the War Hydra. They were going to try to go kill that before it could start eating my gores. Uh, and then, I, as you can see, my Bestigore are uh, sitting behind all of the the uh, the main troops and giving that, that big, um, uh, wow, that big <laughs> block in the middle, uh, Leadership 9. And uh, they are ready to, to open some cans if those uh, knights come into play at all. So here's after the first turn, um, just a lot of maneuvering and things to, uh, to to try to get to grips with the enemy in the later turns. Um, as you can see, I got a lucky Amber Spear off on those knights. I killed two of them, which was pretty cool. Um, that took away their rank bonus and, uh, and um, you know, uh, stifled their combat ability a little bit. Unfortunately, um, I was going to charge, uh, I believe this is the beginning of my opponent's second turn, but I was, I was, I was going to charge with my... Uh, my my uh, Doom Bull and his Minotaurs there. Unfortunately, my opponent got the, I believe it's uh, Wither or something like that, um, that gives your uh, unit minus one strength and minus one toughness. Uh, so I really, um, I had to wait till that expired before I got my Minotaurs into combat because toughness three Minotaurs is not a very powerful unit and those elves would just tear them up if I charged in. So unfortunately that put them out of combat for a turn, but um, I think that <laughs> it, was a, it was a lot better than having them all die if they, uh, if they charged and decided to try to actually do casualties this turn. Uh, as you can see, my, my Minotaurs over on the other side are moving up to, the, uh, to take on the Hydra. Uh, fortunately, I got Wisdom's Wildform on them so that they did not get completely piked by uh, the, the big unit of crossbowmen that's over in the corner off camera right now. Um, so they uh, were able to, to sustain minimal casualties. 
Okay, this picture is after my second turn. Uh, as you can see, my Minotaurs with the Doom Bowl in it have moved back so that they don't take any more uh, any casualties from shooting uh, or spells or things like that because they are at minus one strength and minus one toughness, as I said before. Um, they did take a couple wounds from some spells that my uh, that my opponent's Sorceress had, um, but fortunately they, that wasn't enough to kill anybody. Um, my, my big line moved up. Unfortunately, my opponent in their turn got... Um, I don't remember the name of the spell, but it's one of the the dark elf spells. It, it's a it's a blast big blast template, and they put it in a unit, and they uh, take a initiative test or die or something like that. Um, anyway, and he he killed a, a extraordinary number of uh, gores. I believe he killed eleven gores with that spell. So you can see there's an entire movement tray of gores <laughs> removed from my uh, my big gore block there. Uh, which was a, a pretty big blow to their combat effectiveness, but there's still a, a large number of beastmen in that unit. So I wasn't too worried about it. Uh, it would have been bad if they got my sorcerer, my, uh, not sorceress, my Grey Shaman or something like that, but they, uh, they were not successful in doing that. So basically, uh, doing some more posturing and going to try to get to grips next turn. So here it is, battle is joined. My opponent actually uh, was the one to charge in. I think he could have done some more casualties with magic and shooting if he'd held back, uh, but uh, he decided that he was done waiting for my guys, and um, he charged my Minotaurs with his Corsairs, and he charged those Gores right in the front with the uh, with the Knights. Um, the Corsairs uh, themselves, despite being um, you know highly trained Dark Elf warriors, uh, were not able to do many wounds. I, be I believe he killed one Minotaur out of the, the Minotaur unit. Um, he took an insane number of casualties back, but because he had, uh, his, his BSB and a bunch of ranks, he was, he was able to hold that, um, that round of combat, so he was able to hold the, the Minotaurs up. Uh, he did not get, he, the, the, the minus one toughness, one, minus one, uh, strength spell, uh, did expire, so the Minotaurs were back up to full combat effectiveness and ready to, um, to smash some faces. Uh, the, uh, knights also charged in. They killed a bunch of gores, although because the gores were leadership nine and steadfast because of their ranks, they were able to, um, to hold off the knights for this round, at least. So in response to, uh, my opponents charging in, my, uh, best gore swung around the flank there to try to open some cans in those, uh, on those knights. Uh, unfortunately, my gores were only able to kill one because they do have a two of plus armor save, but I figured that, uh, a bunch of strength six attacks from my great weapons would uh, be able to decimate that unit pretty quickly. Um, as you can see, the Corsairs took a, a insane number of casualties from the uh, the Doom Bowl. The Doom Bowl did have a um, he had the many limbed fiend upgrade, so he had plus one attack, and then he had the brass cleaver, so he was able to get plus four attacks for being in combat with uh, with four enemies. So he was up around eleven attacks uh, in the first round of combat. Uh, in the second round of combat, he did get twelve. Uh, so he was pumping out so many attacks, he was just shredding Corsairs left and right. I did break the enemy unit, uh, and, and therefore kill their battle standard bearer, uh, this turn, which was really good. Um, and, uh, unfortunately because they were Minotaurs, they were unable to over overrun, but I, I killed all but his, um, my opponent's master, which was in that unit. So they are, they were, uh, uh, he, he was stranded pretty much, uh, outside of a unit and, and just looking at two Minotaurs bearing down on him. Um, it's out of the picture right now, but my other Minotaur unit with the uh, the Gorbal did charge into the Hydra, and it, it's they succeeded in wiping it out in run turn of uh, run round of combat because they had so many flaming attacks, and the, the Hydra is only, only initiative two, so it was going after them. So they were able to do uh, an insane number of wounds and just wipe it out. Uh, plus impact hits, plus everything else, uh, killed the Hydra outright. Unfortunately, they were sitting there uh, then looking at down the. Uh, the bolts of of uh, twenty or so dark elf crossbowmen, but we'll see how they uh, they fare. So, despite the my best of gores and my gores doing a bunch of wounds to my opponent's cold one knights, uh, the cold one knights did hold. I believe there's only the uh, the battle the sorry the standard bearer left in that unit, um, which gave my opponent the um the uh, uh, wow what's the word that I'm looking for the chance to the opportunity that was the word ha. -ha! Uh, to attack the uh, Bestigors with my with his um, his spearmen. Thankfully, I had foreseen this uh, eventuality, so I had combat reformed after I won the last round of combat. I combat reformed my Bestigors to face the uh, even though it gave him a flank uh, for the next round. It, it, I I faced the um, the enemy spearmen. He charged in, was not able to do too many wounds, be just because my guys were uh, such a high toughness and with uh, with a higher armor save. Um, and I did a crazy number of wounds back with my um, with my general in combination with my uh, with my 
my best of with their great weapons, and I was able to kill off most, or uh, a lot of the spearmen, as well as the uh, cold one knight, um, and then uh, the, the, the spearmen ran away, which was awesome, and um, their sorceress along with it. So here's the, the hapless master of the, uh, of the, the Dark Elves. Um, he, he did rally after running away from the Minotaurs, uh, <laughs> turned around and went, oh crap, before the Minotaurs uh, hit him and, and just completely pasted him with uh, an enormous number of attacks because they were so frenzied up from winning so many rounds of combat. Um, he really did not stand a chance. Um, you can't really see it in this picture because the flash whited it out, but this uh, model is painted really nice, just as a side note, and I'd like to commend my opponent because I'm sure he's going he's gonna to watch this movie. Um, I'm... I'd like to commend him on a on a on a nice paint job on those on his model. So uh, you should paint more often like that, Mr. Dark Elf player man. So here, this is the uh, the last picture of the game. My my army is just sort of swinging around to uh, to take out those last archers. Unfortunately, this is the uh, this is I believe turn six, so they wouldn't have time to do that. Um, but my Minotaurs, the uh, the ones that had just killed the Hydra, did turn around, and they hadn't suffered too many rounds of uh, too many casualties from shooting, so they were they did have enough models to charge in and do serious casualties to the uh, the Dark Elves enough to even take out their back rank. They were deployed in two ranks. Um, they took out the back rank and the Dark Elves. Now they did not have steadfast. They lost by so much. They did uh, they run they ran away, but being Minotaurs, the uh, the big beasties decided to rob the bodies and eat them and not actually overrun or uh, or kill the enemy um so it was a good game to my opponent it um sort of ended a little one-sided uh i do not believe that my opponent actually wiped out any full units unfortunately um the biggest uh, mistake I can see that he made was just deploying his army out in sort of a line rather than uh, deploying them to face off against my uh, combined army. My army was a lot more cohesive than his was. And my units were able to just to, to charge in and support each other. Um, and I think that he, that his uh, units, like his Hydra and things like that, and his knights would have been a lot b uh, better used if he, if they were able to charge into flanks and things and support his um, his infantry blocks. Uh, the other thing that uh, I believe he did wrong was charging the Corsairs into the the, the Minotaurs. Uh, I can see why he did that uh, because the Corsairs are a pretty effective combat unit in of themselves, and the Minotaurs don't have a lot of. Uh, of defensive armament and with the the Corsair's initiative and things they could do a lot of wounds before the Minotaurs were able to strike back. Unfortunately I don't think my opponent realized how completely nasty the Doom Bull is uh, and was able to kill you know 12 or so uh, um, Corsairs and break the unit. So I hope you enjoyed this game. Stay tuned for more battle reports.